Camera's rolling. This is for sync. Okay. So when we were first uh, working with the idea of, uh, of this film, uh, first we had a, a story in mind we wanted to tell. And it seemed like a provocative enough story. And then uh, later when we started actually writing the film and putting things, you know, following uh, what you have to do to create a good script or what we thought was a good script anyway, was to uh, have to give it something beyond just what it is. It's, uh, it's not just a film about a man and his son going fishing and finding themselves in a strange town with a lot of strange people. In fact, if anything, the film might be an allegory, uh, a uh, some sort of, uh, of uh, uh, not a travesty, certainly, but some sort of, uh, of a piece about something other than what the story is about. And uh, that's the same thing that was in uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. On, on one level, it was just a very scary film. On the second level, that was the hidden level, really, of what they were trying to do was to create a, 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 a pre treatise on uh, nonconformity and conformity. And what we picked, uh, the, this, the story unfolded for us as we began to explore it, we realized that we were getting at a whole other sacred cow. Uh, that's a hint, by the way, as to what it might be. Uh, another sacred cow. Uh, of that could possibly be something we could uh, spin a tale about. Uh, I, I don't think it's giving anything away to say that in uh, without a name, uh, things are not as they appear in the small town that the man and his boy go to fish in. Uh, and the man is, who thinks he's there because his son had heard that there was good fishing uh, in this town uh, has actually manipulated the father into coming out to this town for a specific purpose which benefited the young man but not his father. Uh, I won't say any more and I hope that blows your skirt up a little bit so that you can uh, say God I've got to see that but it's, that's pretty much what we had in mind and uh, I must say this too uh, the actors in the film were exemplary. It was amazing, you know. There's not one star in the picture, not one big name, but each person brings to what they do uh, a great finesse and, uh, and a great understanding uh, that usually players don't get until somewhere midway through their career, perhaps, you know. If you see the work of uh, most any uh, good actor, you'll see that they've gotten good as they've gone along. And uh, and I think these folks, it, it was magical to me to see them working at the level of expertise that they displayed in the filming. And uh, Emmett and I were both like, uh, wow, we're, we were just lucky, you know. We caught this great cast. and uh, And on top of it, uh, there weren't a lot of hijinks uh, on the set and so forth. These kids were wanted to work. They were not there to drink, use drugs, have fun, act silly, and have sex. That's not what their filming was about. It was all about the work. And that's always a, uh, a big, big plus, was when all the other stuff gets removed. And the, it's the idea is, what does the work like? Um, I, I worked as an actor for a lot of years, and. And I have to tell you that I didn't have, at the beginning of my career, anywhere near the polish and understanding that these young actors had. So I was very pleased with the result. And, uh, oh, I'm sure there will be some people who may even be a little bit offended by the, by the uh, jabs we're taking at certain sacred cows. But I, but I think it's something worth seeing for everybody. You don't have to agree with, with our uh, idea here, but you have to like watch it and see it and give it a fair shake to see are these things applicable.